Hi everyone, in this video I will demonstrate creating labor items in your catalog. So labor items are one method for charging labor. The other one that we covered in a previous video was to use phase labor on a per item basis where um, a product would have a phase assigned to it, either rough in, trim, or finish. Uh, that phase would have a labor rate associated with it and that product would also be assigned a number of hours. So as you add the product to a project, uh, the install labor will be charged automatically uh, for you. And labor items are another method for charging labor. Uh, regardless of whether you're doing the labor per item, you're still probably going to create at least one labor item, and that would be for programming. And that's because products in your catalog can only be assigned one phase. So if there uh, is programming involved uh, within a project or even on a per product basis, you're going to want to create a programming labor item. So let's go ahead and go to Start, Catalog, Manage Labor. And uh, there are none by default. You're going to have to create these yourself. So let's go ahead and just start creating a labor item. And to do that, I'm going to click New. And that will open up the new labor form. And here on the General tab, you can fill in a manufacturer, model, and category. Oftentimes, the manufacturer will be your company name. So if that doesn't already exist in your list from um, previous entries, just go ahead and click New here. And uh, just go ahead and put your company name. And I'll go ahead and put an abbreviation in there. And then a model number. I'm just going to call this programming and the category there's only one of these by default uh, for labor items and that is labor so once you have these three fields um, it's up to you if you want to use a subcategory it really depends on how many labor items you're going to be creating and you can always come back and add that later and if you want to add an image you certainly could do that as well um, descriptions here are completely optional but I'll just go ahead and just say programming labor and then move over to the price tab and the price tab looks quite different than a product in your catalog. Uh, you have two options, potentially three options out here regarding how you want to charge labor. So uh, the default is variable, as you can see here. And what variable means is hourly. So you could add one of these to a project and then set the hours. So if you were to treat a product like this, you know, very generically as programming, you could add one of these to a project, one of these labor items, and then just adjust the hours as you see fit, uh, 20 hours for the project. Uh, you would change that field here. Uh, or you could add one to each location in a project potentially and then put X amount of hours per location. So I'll go ahead and you know enter this in here like uh, a, a default of one hour here. And then you have two choices when you're doing variable. You can either use the cost and price from a phase uh, or you can set a specific cost and price right here on the item, cost and price. Um, so if you do this one, you're going to pick a phase, and of course you would have wanted to have set your phase rates. And because programming is a default phase, I'm going to go ahead and assign that to this product here, and we'll go ahead and use the rate that was set on uh, this phase. Now you also have the option of uh, not doing variable and doing fixed instead. Fixed will not track any sort of hours, so if we uncheck this and check fixed, you'll set a cost and a price. So this may be for a subcontractor's labor that you're adding to a project. You may create one of these labor line items and put a cost, and if you're going to mark that up, um, a selling price or set a margin on that. Uh, again, this does not track hours, whereas the variable will. And uh, you actually could use a combination of the two. Um, these are checkboxes, so if you put a fixed cost and price in here, and then you also wanted to, on top of that, add an hourly rate, uh, you could do that. So it's really up to you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck the fixed, and we'll stick with this one where it's set to be variable, one hour by default here, and uh, using the cost and price from the phase. And we'll go ahead and save and close this, and that's how you set up a labor item inside of uh, your SI2017 catalog.